Hey everyone, this is Landro from the NLSC forums. I'm going to show you how to again use the uh, the cheat engine uh, table to get your player to 99 overall, and uh, you know all that fancy jazz. Uh, I don't know how to do the minutes yet. Uh, I've been asking on the cheat engine forums on how to find the address for that, but no one has uh, come back to me with how to do that yet. So first off, you're going to go to options here. Then you want to go down to video settings. You're going to change it. For me, I'm on a, a 1080p monitor, so that's 1920 by 1080. Uh, you want your screen size to be about half of you know your monitor size. So for me, that's about 1152 by 864, and change it to windowed mode. All right. Now that that's done, you want to go into your My Career and you're going to create a new point guard it has to be a point guard and then you're going to go into that and then you're going to you know skip through all this yeah 60th pick just hit A when it gets uh, done with the little saving circle there just hit A again it'll take you to the next one unless you've never done it before in which case you'll have to play through it but here see I'm just gonna go with any team I'll show you how to how to get a uh, onto any team that is available for you to choose on that list so while that's loading, we're going to go ahead and open the cheat table, which I will have uh, in the description. A link to in the description, I should say. I'm going to go to this little thing here, little computer icon, select NBA 2K. From the from the the, the list, <laughs> da, 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 da. and then you're gonna open up this. All right, where are we here? Match time and settings. All right. Now with the game paused here, you're going to check this little X and you're going to go to grade, change that to 45, that's pretty much an A+. Plus. The quarter is already 4, so you're going to go ahead and change the quarter clock to 1 second. Then you're going to go back into the game, boom, it's over. Oh, almost made that shit too. Then it's going to go through. Be another cutscene. It's just unloading. Just hit A. Let me. The Jazz have offered you a 10 yep. day deal. Why, Why not, not a, a year? year? Because you're an un. You skip through all this if you've done it before. Alright, now before we start anything, we're going to see uh, if you've done it uh, the way that I showed you, skipping through your. Uh, your tryout or whatever, you're going to have zero points. So we're going to go to, uh, I'll have this string, hopefully it'll work for you, but this is the way to, to find it out. I have 98,500 points. So we're going to go over here to Cheat Engine, type in 98,500, do first scan. Alright, let's come up with that. Now we're gonna buy something. Let's try that. Two thousand. Now it's ninety-six five hundred. Next scan. And now it's gonna be it's gonna be this green one right here. So we're gonna double click that. Change that to skill points. Now we're going to change it up to like 500,000. So 
boom, see, change to 500,000 over here. And that's in case you need the uh, the skill points. Uh, that's how to find it. But hopefully this, I'll include this uh, this little string here, and hopefully that'll work for you. In case it doesn't follow these steps. All right, now that we've found how to get the skill point address, you log back into your uh, your point guard. Attribute upgrade, see so I have zero points. So I'm going to go ahead and add, let's, let's put 25,000. Puts 25,000 up here. And then we're going to search for this number string. I will have the number string in the description. We're going to change our value type to array of byte. Paste that in to first scan. You now it's going to come up with these. It's going to be one of these here that's going to change, and then we're going to add that to the bottom. So all right, now we're going to go ahead and upgrade our inside scoring attribute. Inside scoring attribute, we're going to upgrade once. See, right here, one of these two change. It's going to be the bottom one, so we're going to go ahead and add that. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and just to show you guys here player stats. I have zero bet. Well, I have zero badges right here. So we're going to go ahead and add the F string here. I oh, know, sorry. We're going to right click on the address. Double click on it, sorry, don't uh, don't right click on it, add plus 88. At the end of it, change the length to 16. Hit OK. Then we're going to have all zeros here. And then you're going to change it to have 16 Fs by it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. I will also have this uh, in the description. You're just going to double click on this, paste in the 16 Fs, hit OK, and boom, here. 77 badges. You got all the badges now. Now we're going to talk about changing the uh, all the stats to 99. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and change the... Uh, stats to 99. First we're gonna of course go to uh, the attribute upgrade table and then we're gonna look at the inside scoring attribute. Right now let me grab my uh, a piece of paper here And for the inside scoring, we're going to search for the entire array here. And inside scoring, and then we're going to search for this five number string, but it's different in uh, in Cheat Engine. So in order to find that, we're going to drop my controller and go out of there. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to uh, write down this number string. We got 66. 71, 28, 28, 28. Alright, now we're going to open up a calculator. We're going to take 66 minus 25 times 3. And that's going to be 123. It's going to be whatever this number is over here, whatever 
this number is right here, not the plus, just the 66. You're going to take whatever that number is, minus 25 times 3 to find its actual value within Cheat Engine. So we're going to go ahead and do that for uh, the rest of here. Twenty-one minus twenty-five times three and thirty-eight. Twenty-eight minus twenty-five times three equals nine. That's gonna since they're all twenty-eights, so we're gonna put nine for all of them. Close that out. I'm gonna click new scan if you haven't already. We're gonna keep it at array of byte. And then we're going to add in that uh, that number string. We're going to go 123, space 138, space 9, space 9, space 9. We're going to do first scan. Oh, damn it. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, uncheck the hex. Alright, and we're going to try to change one of these. We're going to go to stats, player stats, open up your player card, go to attributes. We're going to look at standing layup, which is at 66, which is the first one that we put in there, which is the value of 123. So, I'm gonna add that, change that to change the 123 to 222. 222 is 99 in the uh, in the game. Boom, got 99 here. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna copy this address here. Control C, okay. We're gonna open this. Go to attributes. We're gonna go to standing layup. Right click on standing layup. Go to so recalculate new address. Change address. We're gonna hit Control V. Copy that over. Hit change. I'll change this to 222. So let's try this again. Standing shot mid range, which is right here. Standing shot mid range. And change that to 222 for 99. Boom, oh, 99. You can do that for every single one of these until you get to about right here. This is where the tendencies start, and these are actual values. So 65 would probably be like 65%. So you're going to shoot, when you, when you get the ball and you're simulating, you're going to shoot the ball 60, 65% of the time. So you can change that to 99 or 90 or whatever you want, and that'll affect how many times that when you have the ball, you shoot in a game that you're simulating. So, other than that, uh, let's see here, let's see anything else? Delete these since we already have them. Actually, I'm going to change it up. See if this works for you guys. I'm going to change that to badges. And I'm going to keep that in there. So if uh, when you load up, just click on the badges, enter that F string, which I'll have in the description, and see if it works. If it doesn't, just follow my, my instructions. But other than that, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, you can set, uh, it says set upgrade set to 200, but it maxes out at 128. So let's see if this one works. I just want to make sure for you guys. All right, we have 73 upgrades available, so let's check.
change that uh, 120. That works. Yep, it'll work. 118, that way you can pretty much max out everything. Uh, if you don't want to spend any of your skill points, you just, let's just change this to 150,000. Then you click the X. That'll keep it the same no matter what you spend. See, it's saying I'm going to spend a total of 54,185 points. A. It'll just go right back to 150,000. And this way you can, you can max out everything to whatever the game presets are. But then again, you could always use that. Uh, what I just showed you to get all 99, so it doesn't really matter about this one. So, there you go. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video. So, hope you guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you later.